What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about a simple piano. In Ableton Live you can add a piano a couple of different ways. One of the ways is to add a simpler instrument and then add a piano sample to it. It takes one sample and kind of maps it all across the keys. It mimics a piano sound. So it works pretty well and here's how it sounds like. dial in the frequency to get the softer sound or raise it however that sound is a bit tinny uh, I mean it's okay Uh, you can do the same thing in Serum. So here's what I wanted to kind of show you guys. You take Serum and essentially what you do is you you turn off the oscillators and the sub oscillator. You enable the noise oscillator and you go ahead and uh, import uh, a piano sound. So a oh, piano sound that you like, you know, choose something from that Ableton um, live collection, right? There's a uh, grand piano sounds, there's so many of them. Just pick one. I chose Grand Piano C3. So that's just one note. And this, um, I guess, noise oscillator um, is really good at, um, you know, spreading that one sound out to different keys. Um, it does a much better job, uh, to my ears, uh, than the, the kind of the stock Ableton plugin uh, or instrument. Uh, also, you can you have much more finer control, right? You can have you can have all kinds of filters in here. Um, you can even add a sub if you wanted to. You could actually add oscillators if you wanted to. You could add you know other effects and all that. So let's hear what this sounds like. I'm gonna start with a uh, a low cutoff here. So here we go. Already, if you compare the A B that with this, so that's one thing. Also, you can add something else to it, like let's enable the sub. oscillator So yeah, it's a much more expressive piano, and uh, you didn't have to buy a different piano plug-in. You didn't. You didn't have to import a, a you know, a giant, a gigabyte piano into your uh, arrangement here. You just imported something like Serum and uh, one note, right? And you can. You have so much control. So yeah, that's a little tip, um, just to make sure that you can actually play this so you're gonna 
make sure that you have a filter uh, set here and also the envelope should look like this. Okay, we'll play around with those settings. Make sure the key tracking is on in the noise uh, section, right? Um, and you can, of course, change the pitch around here as well. So this noise oscillator is actually pretty good. So try to experiment with it, see what you think.